Density is another very common some variation of distance. Density in its simple form says okay, how many of something are there within a search distance. Let's say how many bookshops are there within these one kilometer or how many stations are there. So in ma many ways it's somewhat similar to our accessibility that we were talking about in the previous video. Um, density has a, if we talk about it as a tool, we have a point density tool. And um, what it basically does, it is it creates a set radius around each point and then it counts how many overlapping radius. In practice what it does is that it takes each uh, raster cell and then calculates how many of our whatever we are counting the density of, are we in our search radius. There's one thing to be aware of with this standard density thing here, is that our point density as a tool is called, is that the highest density, as you can see here, is not necessarily located where there are any observations. Of course, if you're interested in where do we have the most bookshops within one kilometer, well, it probably wouldn't be in a bookshop. It would probably be somewhere in between a series of bookshops. So the density, in contrast to its name, does not say where there are most bookshops. It says where are the most bookshops within a different radius. So beware of this thing that the density is not the highest density is not necessarily where you have the most observations. It is where you have most observations within a given search radius. So if we go into our, I'll just close this model now, our data set and clean up some all of these things we got here, um, like that, like that and um, zoom to all my addresses zoom to there so here we have our stations and if i wanted to know or ah, okay we all know that trains can be late and things like that so we might not only be interested in living ne next to a station we might want to have an alternative station to go to so where do we have most choices within um, a search radius of let's say one kilometer, which would be something like our polygons from before. So, where do we have most stations within these areas here? We will um, look at it using how to start out creating a model as usual. So, I'll surf up and create myself a new model and my model will be using our stations and then this density tool um, so we'll go down and density tool is a raster tool so it'll be under spatial analyst um, so further down spatial analyst and here we have our density and here we have our pot density tool, which is what we're talking about now. So I just do this, and I'll set my search radius in here. So I will have interested in looking at a radius of one kilometer, so thousand meters, map units, and fine. And I'll just I want to set my output as a TIFF file. Right. So, run it. And add it to my display. So what you can see is that if we compare with my buffers from before, these buffers here, you will see that Inside this one kilometer, we have, of course have one station, and then we have variations, which is the number of 
if you had not done the, the dissolve overlapping buffers around each station. And at the moment it looks like this is something completely continuous, but if we go down and change the symbology here of this to unique values, yeah, yeah, um, we can see that they are all different unique values. This is the number, so there's 0.3 stations per square kilometer in these areas. And that's because if you have a circle with the diameter of one meter or one kilometer, you will get pi, and this is times one square kilometers, so you'll get this number here. So you have, um, this is basically just one, the ratio of one to the area of a circle for the diameter of one. So we have these different variations and here we have um, our most stations per square kilometer. This is where we have our highest density. So that is the standard density tool. It simply calculates how many are within a specific distance and then it can give it, um, if you look at the tool. So this is our search values down here and uh, it can then give the result as uh, per square kilometer. Uh, acres or whatever so you have these different units that you want to have your calculation in so that was our standard density tool